Now, when we were talking before, and Chris, you asked a question about how do you make sure that if we were going to outsource and whether that or off, off our plate, and I sort of said, well, the problem is we often give it, but then it comes back to us. Um, so there's a bunch of things we could do here, but there may be other things on your list that you go, oh, I've just got to get off my plate, whether it's to an offshore outsourcing or, or wherever. So the key thing is I just go, we need to create simple training plans. Yep. And so to give you an example is we need to understand what is the person that I'm handing to's understanding of the knowledge and where do I think they fit and what specifically do we need to cover. And so what happens is we get a fairly big task or a fairly big project and we sort of go, right, I want you to do all of that. And maybe we haven't been as prescriptive or as detailed as we need to be. Yep. Um, and that's because of time, those sorts of things. So what I talk about is this concept of width um, and depth. Yep. So what you need to do is look at a task. So I'm going to give you an example, an ex a extreme example. Um, so I've got a son um, who's an um, avid tennis player. Yep, really sort of um, big into the tennis at the moment. And sort of, so when we look at it and we go, okay, if we're, I, we're training or learning about tennis, what I can do there is talk about, well, okay, what's all the elements of tennis? Yep, and break that into as micro as I can be. Yep, so I can go, well, under the serve, for example, there's a kick serve. Yep, there's a slider. There's the speed, you know, the first serve. Um, whatever it might be, yep. And then we could go, there's, you know, let's have a look at, there's volleys, yeah, there's smashes. Um, what is it? Ground strokes, yep. So we can be as micro. Then there's the mental side of the game. There's, um, you, know, uh, tr you know, training. There might be diet. You know, whatever elements that we might say that makes up the component of, you know, the game of tennis, yep. And so the key thing is if you think about that same principle but just go, what exactly are we trying to get? And, do, you know, can I get quite micro and just go, what are all the elements there? And then you need to say within that task, activity, what I'm trying to get there, even for the role of a person, I need to then go, well, do they even get the concept? Yep. So, for example, I go um, with my son, who's only 11, um, and I go, does he even get the concept of what a kick serve is? Yep. And so you would go, right, you know, up until sort of a month or so ago, he wouldn't have even known what the concept was of, you know, the spin on the ball and getting the bounce and, you know, whatever the, the pieces are that his coaches sort of thing. So we'd go, does he even get the concept? Yep. Or has he done it before? So think about an activity that you're saying, have they got the concept of even what we're trying to achieve in this little piece? Have they done it before? Are they competent? Could they train others or are they an expert on each area? And you may find that you go through and you say, okay, well, yeah, he's got the concept there, but he hasn't really done it before. Yep. Uh, volleys, yeah, he's quite competent in volleys. But really what we want to do is we want to actually make him an expert in that area. We want to really make that that's his, going to be a strong game to differentiate. Um, you know, the mental side, oh, look, he's not, he, he probably doesn't even have the concept. We probably just need him to be competent, you know, at this age. You know, and you can start to work this through. And so you can start to go, where are they, you believe, in their skill set? Where do I need them to be? Because you don't need them to be experts in everything. Make sense? Now, here's the interesting thing, is when you get your list, you give that to them. And you go, this is what I believe are all the components of the different things that I need you to sort of take on. Yep. And what I want to know is before I tell you what I think, I want you to go, where do you see yourself on level one to five? And then you can overlay what your thinking is with what they say, and you'll start to realise that, oh, maybe there's some gaps. I actually thought they were quite competent in that. They don't even realise that they haven't got the concept. And then you can quickly just go pick one, two, three things and block out 20 minutes, half an hour, ask them to carry around a you know, like a, a trading book, and you can just sit there and you can just go, let's just spend 20 minutes and talk about kick serves and volleys. And let me tell you everything, you take notes, let's get it clear. And then we get, you, you know, you get them to understand all that. And that's the quickest way and easiest way to, to break up what might be quite a complex thing so that people actually can 
get the concept, they understand, and, and by asking them initially where they feel they are, you go, oh, where's the gaps? And then you can actually train people. And so you don't need to send them off and do lots of training or do things or whatever, you just need to free up. And you can have other people that are competent in these areas do those sorts of things. Make sense? Cool. So, also what we do is we go, when you're training and when you're dealing with whether it's a, um, you know, one of the, 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 the client service people or anyone, is you need to look at your four different approaches to um, your leadership style. So at level one is if they've never done it before, they don't really have competency, you need to manage them very instructively. Yep. And the approach is I'm going to coach and I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. Yep. Their competency is low and the discussion is really about, well, let me show you what you need to do. But quickly, you want to move people through levels two, three and four. So you go, actually, we need to start moving to more an ask and tell style where we'll say, uh, how do you plan to do this? And let's discuss. So you're, not, you're creating non-dependency. And ultimately, you want people to move more towards a delegating, right? Where you're there to just support if they need it. And you can explain this as a concept to people and say, I want to move you from one, two, three, and four. Because if we manage people all at level one, what's the issue with that? It takes a lot of time. Takes a lot of time. What do people say about your management style? You're a micro... Micromanager.